Now at six, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is responding to claims that Facebook is well hurting society more than it's actually helping. CBS 4's Laura Podesta breaks down his extensive statement and has more on what the whistleblower told Congress during yesterday's hearing. The founder of the world's largest social media company is hitting back against allegations made by former employee Francis Haugen that Facebook puts profit over people. In a letter to employees, which Mark Zuckerberg shared on his page, he writes that Haugen's claims don't make sense, saying, quote, the argument that we deliberately push content that makes people angry for profit is deeply illogical. We make money from ads and advertisers consistently tell us they don't want their ads next to harmful or angry content. Facebook's own research says they cannot adequately identify dangerous content. Haugen said she copied thousands of pages of internal Facebook research and says the company cannot physically stop all harmful content from being propagated to users, nor does it want to, because that sort of content drives people, especially teenagers, to the site. Now lawmakers want more regulation. I am enormously encouraged by the apparent unanimity we have on both sides of the aisle that we need to make changes. In his statement, Zuckerberg agrees, writing, the right body to assess trade-offs between social equities is our democratically elected Congress. For example, what is the right age for teens to be able to use internet services? How should internet services verify people's ages? And how should companies balance teens' privacy while giving parents visibility into their activity? Senators on the committee that heard from Haugen yesterday extended an invitation and urged Zuckerberg to speak with them as well. Laura Podesta, CBS News.